Hi, and welcome to another episode of The Orminators. I'm Chris Orr, and I travel quite a bit for business, so I'm here today to talk about some ways to possibly shorten your waits in the security line at your local airport. Number one, get TSA PreCheck, or CLEAR, uh, or Global Entry, which will come with uh, CLEAR or Nexus, or one of them. There's several of them out there, but one of them should be a no-brainer. Have you ever gotten to the airport and seen the, the lines at the regular TSA checkpoints wrapping around the corner while the folks in the TSA pre-check lanes are breezing through? There's a reason for that. They don't have to take off their shoes and take out their laptops, and liquids can stay in their bags. TSA pre-check is about 85 bucks, or is 85 bucks, and lasts for five years. Uh, clear is more expensive at 179 per year, but claims to get you to the head of the line uh, of either the regular security line if you don't have TSA pre or the regular security line. I've never used Clear, so I can't give you an honest assessment of it, but I do have TSA PreCheck by virtue of having Global Entry, which is another one which is will shorten your lines, especially when coming back to the United States from an international location. I travel a lot to Canada, so being able to take the Nexus lane uh, when I'm driving back in, or uh, to be able to uh, to <clears throat> get into the TS into the Global Entry lane uh, when I'm going through customs huge time saver. Either way, um, <clears throat> it'll shorten your, t your wait times at, uh, at security. And I'll provide some links uh, down below um, to these programs. Another way of speeding your way through the lines is with one of these babies. This is the, uh, can you see that there? This is the uh, 511 uh, TDU one and a half inch belt. Uh, there are a lot of brands uh, that have similar offerings, offerings but the, um, the main feature here is this uh, heavy-duty polymer buckle, which obviously, with no metal in it, allows you to go through security lines without having to take off your belt. Uh, this is especially important for those of you who have uh, loose pants and hate to have to hold those up as you walk through security or go through the, uh, the body scanner. If you insist on wearing a belt with a metal buckle or belt boots with steel toes uh, or anything that will set off the detectors, another tip is to prepare ahead of time. Sometimes before I even get into a line, I will find a quiet spot and take my wallet, my watch, and anything in my pockets and put them into my carry-on bag. The idea here is that when you get in back into the line and get to the conveyor belt, you can just slip your shoes off uh, and throw them on the belt and, uh, and put your bag on the belt and breeze through with nary a hesitation as opposed to you holding up the line as you scramble to pull all of those things out and dump them into the tray, <laughs> where they're often forgotten. How many of times have we been at the airport and we heard the announcement, please return to the checkpoint? Um, the point is, travel like you've done it before. We've all been in that line where the people in front of you act, of, act as if they've never even left the house before. Bottles of water in their bag, three tons of gold jewelry to remove, knee-high lace-up boots to take off, a liter of shampoo and a full-size toothpaste in their carry-on. Ugh. Anyways, um, I hope you found these tips, a uh, few tips to be successful or useful. Um, I'll be putting, uh, I expect I'll be putting some more additional videos out along this same lines. Packing Like a Minimalist is an episode you can look forward to, for example. I'm getting ready for a trip to, uh, to Orange County, California, so uh, um, maybe I'll go ahead and post one of those videos up there as well. Um, we'll be staying at the Beverly Hills Hilton. Beverly Hills Marriott, uh, so uh, expect a review from there and uh, kind of a nice view. As always, thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down along with some comments and to subscribe using the little clicky thing there on the page. All right.